Have you ever wanted a computer case that kinda looks like one of those cubes in Minecraft? Well, I made one that just so happens to look like one of these cubes. It has room for a GPU, 2.5 inch drives and its size is printable on most popular 3D printers. Let's look at some design details in this short animation before we dig into the rest. Hello guys, I'm back with another 3D printed PC case build for you. This time I wanted to make something for those of you with smaller printers like the Andrew 3 or similar. Requiring only a 200 by 200 mm print surface, it's got a volume of 8 liters, support hard drives and has room for a small size GPU up to 180 mm in length. The parts added below in the link are made with the required supports and it should not require any other modification before printing. The supports come off easily with some pliers just like this. Now let's build it and then afterwards let's look at the temperatures.
Now that it's assembled, let's fire it up and look at those temperatures. Starting with the GPU, there are a few different tests I've done. First, I tried using the 120mm fan as an intake fan, sucking air from the top, blowing it down into the case. This gave me an average temperature of 65 degrees with a peak of 69. When mounting two hard drives and no extra fan, I got an average of 67 degrees and a peak of 70 degrees. I got the best temperature results for the graphics card when using the fan alone as an exhaust pulling the hot air up and out. Here I got an average of 62 degrees with a peak of 64. My personal preference for this case though is to use one 120mm fan and one hard drive, giving an average temperature of 65 degrees with a peak of 67 which is perfectly fine. In fact all the temperatures are perfectly fine, but I noticed that when using two hard drives they got really hot because nothing was actually getting rid of that hot GPU air which could potentially damage the hard drive over time. So my recommendation would be to use one exhaust fan and one hard drive. Over to the CPU, through all my tests I didn't really notice any difference at all with or without the fan, as the fan doesn't really affect the airflow on that side of the case. The average temperature of the CPU was about 73 degrees and occasional peaks over 80, with one max peak of 82. These are also perfectly fine temperatures. Some may think it's too hot, but remember these are just peaks that only last for a few seconds at a time before the fans catch up, so there's really not much to worry about. But as this is a super compact build with not much extra room to spare, you can't really expect any lower temperatures or better airflow. All my temperature tests were performed in a room with an ambient room temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. I think the case turned out really cool and I'm really happy with the result. All the files will be free to download in the description, both the SDL files and the SketchUp file if you want to make your own modifications. I will leave details in the description of what print settings I used as well as some other information regarding the build. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are already subscribers, I want to say thank you for all the support and positive feedback I've gotten on my previous videos and for helping me reach a thousand subscribers in just under two months. I'll try my best to post more frequently, it's been a few weeks now since my last upload. I would love to explore some other areas of making and I'd love suggestions from you guys on what you think I should make in my future videos. It doesn't have to be related to computers, it could be anything, so let me know if you got some fun ideas in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video.